Greetings and welcome and welcome back finally to another fragrance review. I know it's been over three months, I do apologize. However, um, as you can see from the background, I'm currently in the process of moving. Um, this will not be the background the entire time. This is just temporary until I make like my little studio and also a lot of work related stuff. So I really didn't have any time to record videos, but now we're back and we are back with a review of one of my personal favorite fragrances in my collection. That is of course Scandal by Roger Parfums. This is the Eau de, uh, the Parfum Cologne version. I do apologize. There's also the Eau de Parfum version and the Parfum version, but this is the Parfum Cologne version, which I have with me. So uh, as always, let's look at the packaging first. So the packaging essentially comes in this black cardboard box with the Parfum Cologne Roger Parfums at the front in gold, as well with the uh, signature of Roger Dove. On the side, we don't really have anything. And on the back, we have a fragrance by Roger Dove. Uh, the address and the actual ingredients of the Scandal Parfum Cologne. And of course, this is the 100 ml bottle or 3.4 fluid ounces. Uh, by the way, we are going to be discussing what the Parfum Cologne concentration is later on in the video. And when we open the box, we have this lovely soft material. I guess it's um, plush. And inside is the beautiful, beautiful Scandal bottle in the I would say purple color, I think this is purple. And we have Scandal Parfum Cologne on the front with Roger Parfums, again with the gold letters, which are actually uh, slightly raised above the bottle. It's a glass bottle, obviously. On the side, we don't have anything. And on the back, it says a fragrance by Roger Dove, made in England, rojaparfums.com. On the bottom, we have the uh, amount and um, again, the address as well as the batch code. And we have, of course, at the top, the beautiful golden cap. And I have to say, it's a very heavy cap. That's something that really surprised me when I first uh, had this bottle in my hand. And at the front, we have the Roja uh, signature as well as at the top. And the actual design of the cap is based on one of the rings Mr. Dove actually has on his finger. And the sprayer is golden color and it is a fairly good quality sprayer. However, um, considering the price of this fragrance, I think they could have done a little bit better of a job uh, for example, they could have made the spray a bit more um, controllable in regards to how many, how much of the fragrance actually comes out. Something that, for example, Dior does with their fragrances, which costs a lot less than this fragrance. Uh, and that's essentially the packaging overall. I love the design of this bottle. Uh, again, I just have uh, the negative about the actual spray. They could have made it a little bit better. So now let's talk about the fragrance notes as we always do. And there are so many notes in this fragrance. I had to write them down because they're just too many for me to remember. I mean, I can remember them, but I just really don't want to waste my time on that. So I'm just going to read them for you. So at the top, we have lavender, lemon, mint, bergamot, tarragon, pettigrain, and basil. Uh, in the middle, we have a lily of the valley, jasmine, rose de mai, and violet. And in the base notes, we have moss, clove, ambergris, vetiver, patchouli, labdanum, cedarwood, tonka bean, sandalwood, musk, cardamom, nutmeg, uh, rhubarb, and cashmere wood. So most definitely many, many notes. Um, if somebody says they can make out each individual note in this fragrance, they are either, either a fragrance genius and have to uh, make their own perfume line as soon as possible or they're just uh, lying. I mean, I personally cannot decipher each, distinguish each particular note in this fragrance. However, there are some notes which are most dominant, at least to my nose. Now, before we talk about that, uh, the longevity and projection of this fragrance. For me, this is a beast mode fragrance. Um, I saw online some people claim that it only lasts a couple of hours on their skin while other people say it lasts like the whole day. Uh, thankfully, I am the other group. So on my skin, this fragrance lasts more than 24 hours. Um, how do I know this? Well, I put this fragrance on before I go to work. So around 8 a.m. When I come back home at around 8 a.m., unfortunately, it's still on me. People can still smell it. And even if I wake up in the morning, if I don't take a shower at night, uh, it still smells on me. The only reason why it goes away is because I have to shower every morning. So that's when it disappears. So on me, this is 24 hours plus easily. Projection is also very, very good. So for three sprays with this fragrance, I get around two meters of projection for the first like three hours, then it kind of becomes more of a skin scent, but uh, I think three hours is more than enough. And of course, this has wonderful sillage or scent trail as others would say. So you are definitely gonna get noticed with this fragrance, at least that is my experience wearing it. And you do get a couple of compliments with that, which is a bonus. Uh, the season when I wear this fragrance, well, 
Uh, for me, this fragrance works best in mild seasons, so uh, spring and fall. Mm, maybe also you could wear it in the summer. I mean, I do wear it in the summer occasionally, but I would not suggest you to wear this in the winter time. I think that winter would just be uh, too strong for this. Maybe if you, if you live in a climate with some more mild winters, then it's okay, but for anywhere where it goes below zero, I don't think this fragrance can actually handle it. So uh, spring and fall are your best seasons, maybe summer, but not so much winter. Occasions when I wear this fragrance, well, um, this fragrance does smell very classy for me. So I think this fragrance works best in uh, formal occasions and maybe in the office setting. However, this still has enough of a, um, enough flexibility to pull it off in some more casual occasions. So literally just if you go out with your friends or something, you can still wear this fragrance. The only place maybe I wouldn't suggest to wear this is at a nightclub because it's a bit too old fashioned for a nightclub in my opinion. I think uh, you would go much better with something like Versace Eros than with Scandal Parfum Cologne. Uh, and of course the age range when I would suggest you to wear this fragrance. Again, this is a little bit more classy, mature smell. So maybe it would not be suitable for a teenager. However, I am generalizing a bit here. Uh, um, age is just a number. For example, when I bought this fragrance, the um, lady who sells the fragrance told me uh, that I shouldn't buy this. It's too mature for me. I still bought it anyway. But yeah, uh, if we're generalizing, I would say this is a more mature fragrance. So for somebody who has already started working, maybe someone who just got their master's degree. So 23, 24 years of age plus. And that's regarding the general specifications. So now how does this fragrance actually smell? Well, before I talk about how this fragrance smells to me, let's hear what Mr. Dove actually has to say about the fragrance. Scandal. What causes a scandal? Usually it's to do with sex or money, and very often it's to do with both. In this creation, I wanted to make something which ensures that you are talked about, because generally, scandals are just that. Everybody gossiping, everybody saying something about you. So how do you create scandal in a bottle? I wanted to create a scent which was as bright and fresh as people gossiping. I used a lot of citrus materials, lemon, bergamot, with notes of herbs like tarragon and a very, very magical material which I absolutely adore, pettigrain. Pettigrain is a small unripened fruit which falls from the citrus tree which gives us something fresh but also warm and very, very leafy. But what is it that really captures them? It's the bit to do with sex. Where we find vanilla, which is a natural aphrodisiac, wrapped around the smoky, warm, soft, almost edible note of tonka bean. Wear scandal and ensure you're talked about. So that was Mr. Dove's interpretation of scandal. Uh, one thing you gotta admit, the man knows how to sell you a fragrance, even if his descriptions don't really have a lot to do with the smell. So how does this fragrance smell? Essentially, to my nose, the uh, most dominant top notes are lavender and lemon. So lavender and lemon are definitely most dominant. However, lavender lasts throughout the entirety of this fragrance, at least for me. So from the top to the base notes. Uh, why I think the bottle color is appropriate is simply because it's the same color as lavender. Uh, the rest of the top notes give it more of a herbal background. So more of an herbal support to the, the lemon and the lavender. And as the fragrance starts to develop a little bit more, goes into the mid notes, uh, then the moss note here becomes more dominant. It's giving it more of a earthy tone, if it makes sense. And then as it goes a little bit more into the dry down, it becomes more sweet with the vanilla and tonka bean being the most dominant notes. Of course, lavender is still present. Overall, I really like how this fragrance develops. It's definitely not a linear smell. And in fact, whenever I would give this to somebody to test it on their skin, they would be so surprised as how much it develops during the day. I mean, keep in mind, most of these people uh, only have experience with like basic designer fragrances. So this is for them something like a whole new world they discover. Uh, essentially, if I would have to describe this fragrance in three words, it's citrusy. Uh, aromatic fougere, definitely. Uh, however, this is not 100% like the old fashioned fougere fragrances. This has more of a modern twist on a classic fougere, a sort of an homage, uh, a modern homage to the 70s and 80s fougere fragrances. And I even think Mr. Dove said it himself that that is his inspiration. Um, if he wanted to smell something similar, or in fact, I would say if you wanted to smell the inspiration for this fragrance, uh, I would suggest you try Davidoff's Zeno. I think Zeno was basically the inspiration behind this fragrance. 
Uh, by the way, the perfumer, if it wasn't obvious before, is Mr. Dove. So Roger Dove is the maker or the perfumer behind this gorgeous smell. Uh, good work for him, I guess. Uh, I mean, overall, I really like his fragrances. However, this is the only one I have in my collection uh, so far. Now, uh, we are gonna be talking about if this is actually worth a buy. Um, well, one thing the fragrance community, at least I found in the fragrance community, uh, people comment on is the fact that Roja's fragrances are not exactly worth a buy. Why? Essentially, what they say is that most of his fragrances are literally just uh, reinterpretations of already existing famous designer fragrances. Like I said, I think David of Cezino was the inspiration for Scandal. Uh, I think uh, Vetiver was actually based on Vetiver by Guerlain. In fact, Mr. Dove, I think, worked in Guerlain for a long time. Uh, so that's why a lot of people say that the fragrances he sells are simply not worth it. I mean, besides that, this is pretty expensive. Um, I don't know, in my opinion, they still are worth it even though they might be reinterpretations of already existing fragrances, if you would try Davidoff Zeno and this side by side, you would see that the Davidoff Zeno will evaporate very quickly and the smell is not so high quality. So you get a similar smell, however, it's been done to perfection, at least in my book. So uh, the ingredients are a lot better quality. There's a lot more craftsmanship behind Mr. Dove's fragrances compared to the original inspiration. So that's why I think it's worth it. Like I said, on my skin, this is 24 hours plus with amazing projection and longevity. Well, I already said longevity, but projection. Um, it just smells so good. Whenever I put this on, I just feel like a million dollars, as they say. So in my opinion, yes, it is worth it. However, uh, I suggest you test it out. You test the originals that inspired his fragrances and then come to your own conclusion if it's worth it for you or not. I can't say 100% this is like a blind buy, must buy. Uh, do your research, uh, make up your own mind, and then decide if this is worth it for you or not. By the way, I didn't talk about the Parfum Cologne concentration, what it refers to. Uh, so essentially, um, Parfum Cologne is supposed to be a mix of the Eau de Cologne and Eau de Parfum uh, traits. So the Parfum Cologne opens very fresh like an Eau de Cologne fragrance, however, it lasts as long as an Eau de Parfum. Essentially, if you would try the Eau de Parfum or the Parfum version of this candle perfume, you would uh, notice that the Parfum Cologne version smells a lot more brighter, a lot more fresh compared to its predecessors. So that's essentially what Parfum Cologne is. Uh, overall, to conclude this video, would I suggest you to buy Roja Dove's fragrances, uh, or at least candle, because that's the one I have the most experience with? Well, it's on you. I would personally say yes. Uh, however, do your research, try David of Zeno, try, I don't know, Dior Eau Sauvage, for example. When you try those fragrances and this one, then um, make up your own mind if this is worth it for you or not. Um, even if you don't buy it, that's okay. But if you buy it, I'm sure you're gonna be very happy with your purchase. Just make sure you fall into the second group of people that actually, that this fragrance actually lasts a long time on. If this lasts three hours, then of course it's not worth it. So yeah, that's it. Um, it's good to be back. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. There will be more videos in the future, more regularly, in fact, once a week as it was before. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, leave a thumbs up down and maybe, um, Share in the comments how I can improve my content. Subscribe if you want to see more fragrance or wristwatch related videos. And until next time, guys, have a great day and 